semi-detached, a real-time sitcom turning the tables on Middle England to view the full article, click the first link in the description below. It is impossible to know why exactly the heart wants what the heart wants but my TV watching habits lately have been leaning towards the suburban. Maybe, trapped in a small London flat in lockdown, my body craves the space and greenery of suburbia. Maybe, I think, watching Friday night dinner for the hundredth time, I would be happier twitching behind a bay window and reprogramming my doorbell to play a fun tune. Maybe, I ponder, mid in betweeners episode, it'd find peace if I had a garden large enough to put a trampoline in it. Who knows? Lee Mack knows, because he plays steward a midlife crisis bulging out of a tired wedding DJ and semi-detached, Thursday, BBC2, a new real-time sitcom set firmly in the world of the cul-de-sac. There is no way of describing the show without it sounding quite naff, each episode follows an increasingly frenetic 20-minute segment of Stuart's calamitous life, juggling the semi-detached house he lives in with his wafty younger girlfriend, Ellie White, his perma-shagging father, Clive Russell, outlaw brother, Neil Fitzmaurice, and new baby, just played by a baby, along with the complaints of the house opposite, where his brusque ex-wife, Samantha Spiro, her achingly smug new husband, Patrick Bellotti, and his rebellious older daughter, Sarah Hoare, all live in real time. Occasionally, the erratic neighbor, Jeffrey McGivern as a sort of elder Kramer, pops in to make things more difficult. Absurd things keep happening, and Lee Mack has to just stand there, take it, and occasionally allow himself a what is life like a big exhale. This makes it sound bad, because every sitcom you've ever seen and forgotten has followed the structure of weird things keep happening to a tired man, but I assure you semi-detached is different. Firstly, the pace is frantic. Within the first six minutes of episode one, Mac has, I, turned down mid-labor sex with a screaming girlfriend, too, had it is impossible to know why exactly the heart wants what the heart wants but my TV watching habits lately have been leaning towards the suburban maybe. Trapped in a small London flat in lockdown, my body craves the space and greenery of suburbia to view the full article, click the first link in the description below.